This is a demonstration of a ground control station using a modified ThinkPad for giving a sunlight readable display. First of all, let's have a look at an ordinary ThinkPad. This is a this is a T61 ThinkPad, and it's running the Q Ground Control Ground Control Station, and I'm in full sunlight. So you can see I've got a sunny day here, and to my eyes, that display is completely unreadable. It certainly would not be usable out in the field. You could not do a reasonable uh, do any reasonable use of the Ground Control Station um, with the screen uh, that hard to read. If I now look at this other ThinkPad, here's a T41 ThinkPad, which has been modified. And you can see here that you have a perfectly clear display, vibrant, full color, even though it's full sunlight. And it's again showing the Q ground control, ground control station, and my little command line ground control station, which is proxying across to Q ground control uh, on the left here. That's what was announcing our altitude a minute ago. Okay, so let's see how it works. Well, if we look around the back of these two laptops, then here we have the ordinary ThinkPad, which has the normal black back with a, a sticker on it there. And here we have the modified ThinkPad. Now, this ThinkPad has had the rear part of its uh, top removed so that the sun streams directly into the back of the LCD. That means we're using the sun as the backlight for this ThinkPad. Now, this particular ThinkPad I chose was a, an old T41 I happened to have that already had a broken backlight, but um, you could use any similar laptop, cut the back out of it, and you end up with a sunlight-readable display. Now, one additional thing you need is a white surface to reflect the sun into the LCD monitor. So you can see here I'm using a piece of white plastic which nicely reflects the sun up into the back of the LCD. Alternatively, you could build a better reflective system, uh, some sort of little uh, harness for perhaps a, um, a piece of perspex or similar to reflect sunlight into the back of the display. Now, one disadvantage of this particular ThinkPad is you can see this cable here. That's the cable that connects the LCD to the rest of the computer. And unfortunately, that casts a bit of a shadow across the back of the display. But I tend to find that in full sunlight, it's still perfectly readable. You can see a piece of shadow running across here, but there's enough sunlight reflected from different angles that it makes the shadow um, not too distracting. Now, a couple of other features of this display. You do lose a uh, part of the display. If you have a look, I've got this window centered in the middle of the display because the top inch or so, inch and a half, of the display is very hard to read. That's because of the electronics which are in the top of the display here, which we couldn't cut out. And similarly, there's a little shadow of about a centimeter or so on the left and uh, at the bottom. And the way I avoid that is I'm running uh, Ubuntu Linux and I just set the menu system to put the menu bar on the right-hand side of the display, and um, I just arrange my windows so that they're out of the, the top part of the display where it's harder to read. So the other part of this ground control station that um, I find very useful is um, you don't always want to be looking at the screen when you're flying the plane or you're trying to control it. So what I use is a MAV proxy, which is my little command line uh, ground control station and uh, that ground control station has the ability to announce your altitude for example uh, to announce mode change so if I change uh, mode in the plane mode module. then uh, I'm similarly able to control lots of different aspects of the, the flying of the plane using this command line tool and I find that in the field that's more useful than uh, controlling it via a graphical graphical user interface and what MavProxy does is it forwards all the MavLink packets to the Q ground control, ground control station, which is much more sophisticated than the uh, command line one. And that gives me the graphical map interface with satellite images, and it gives me a heads up display, etc. So if I move my plane around here, so if I move the wing up and down, then you can see that the head up display is changing appropriately. Uh, if I change mode using my transmitter, grab my transmitter here and flick mode. Mode stabilize. Mode SBWA. Mode stabilize. Mode manual. Then I get announcements uh, about the change of mode, 
and I also get announcements about altitude changes of more than 10 metres so that while I'm flying the plane I can tell what altitude it's at. The overall combination of a sunlight readable full colour display along with speech announcements I find to be a, a fantastic ground control station combination.